Hi, this is Candia with Ostitch.com. We are in my studio again, and I was just reading my inbox messages, and normally I wouldn't share them as they are personal, but I think that this one is important as the person did ask me uh, quite a few questions and had a strong opinion about what she thought what was going on with YouTube, and I thought that I would share my response with all of you as well as her. So here it goes. Hi Embroidery Stylist, I love your videos and creative touch you put on the things you do. I can appreciate your road to successfully reaching 100 subbies because I'm just starting out myself. I haven't reached 100 subbies yet, <laughs> but I'm hoping that I will. But anyway, she goes, here's my question. Have you noticed the people on YouTube that have a lot of subbies don't respond to inbox messages or they don't return the favor of subbing back. Isn't that rude? Also, have you noticed that the videos of happy mail recipients are of each other like little clicks? I noticed that you have a lot of views and a decent amount of videos with no happy mail. Do you do swaps, secret sister stuff? or send or receive happy mail. I'm not sure what secret sister stuff is, but I'll keep on going. And then she wrote, if not, would you be willing to do a one-on-one -on -one swap or happy mail with a newbie, someone who has less than a hundreds of subbies and do a video on it? Let me know. If so, don't expose me in a video. I'm new and I don't want to appear desperate. Thanks a million. Well, first I want to thank you for watching my videos. I appreciate your feedback. Uh, you saying that I have a creative touch. I appreciate that. But I want to take the time to uh, address some of the questions that you had and uh, give you my opinion and my thoughts on it. Uh, the first thing that you said was, um, have I noticed that people on YouTube have a lot of subbies and they don't respond to inbox messages and they don't return the favor of subbing back and then you ask isn't that rude well let me just you know address each one of those questions or statements I have noticed that uh, the people that are on YouTube that have accumulated you know lots of subscribers they are not as uh, quick to respond uh, or sometimes they don't respond at all and, um, you know, I think that if someone is going to take the time to send you an inbox or comment on one of the videos that they watch, it would be nice to respond back, even just to thank you. Uh, and I'm not making excuses, but I got to tell you that, you know, if you look at some of the subscribers list, I mean, if you have hundreds and thousands of subscribers in your videos, you have, let's say, 200 videos up. It, it's kind of another job to respond to everyone that uh, sends you a message or inbox you or comments on one of your videos. So I wouldn't be sensitive there. I would just kind of look at it like if these people are crafters or they run businesses from their homes and they have family life and they're making videos, they may not have time to dedicate hours and hours on end to thanking people to for watching their videos. It would be nice but, you know, they may not have the time just because of the accumulated views and messages that they may be getting on even an hourly basis. So I wouldn't be so sensitive to that. And in regards to uh, returning the favor of subbing back, isn't that rude? That's what you had asked in, in, in the message. I don't think it's rude. I think that subscribing is a choice. And just because someone subscribes to your channel doesn't mean that you have to return uh, the same uh, favor, if you will, because, you know, those are the words that you use. It's not really a favor because there isn't a reciprocal agreement. If someone finds you or your channel on YouTube and they think that you are interesting or they want to continue to watch your videos and they subscribe to you, you are not obligated to then watch their videos or find out who they are and then subscribe back. 
It may be a choice. It may be someone who you're not even interested in what they're doing. They just like what you're doing. So, no, I don't think that it is rude if they don't subscribe back. And I don't feel like they are obligated to subscribe to people who uh, subscribe to them. I, I sub, and even in some of my videos, I do say if you sub, I'll sub back. But if it's something that is inappropriate or just crazy, I won't sub back. That's just my personal opinion. The next thing that you had asked was uh, about happy mail. People receiving happy mail and you had uh, said that they receive happy mail from each other. It's almost like little clicks. Well, I got to tell you that it is almost like a little click. And the reason that is because a lot of the times the happy mail recipient or the happy mail sender are a part of a blog. Uh, so for the most part, it is almost like a group. I wouldn't necessarily say a click, but if they are part of a blog or a swap or some kind of thing like that, then it would be, and, it, and it's the same blog all of the time, it would be the same people or the same people of a certain blog. So if you would like to be a part of something like that, then you would want to listen closely or read the descriptions. A lot of the times, uh, the people will put, the YouTubers will put, the blog that they are affiliated with so that's how you get in on that and then the next thing you had asked is if I would be willing to do a swap with someone who is a newbie someone who has less than hundreds of subbies and do a video on it absolutely absolutely if someone wants to do a one-on-one -on -one swap with me I am more than happy to do a one-on-one -on -one swap you tell me what you want to do and yes I actually will put it out there that if you are a newbie or not even necessarily a new person just a person who has less than 100 subscribers and you would want to do a one-on-one -on -one swap with me whether it's a tag or a card or a balsa box or something that I can do inbox me give me the details you dictate to me we'll, we can set it up time deadlines themes whatever it is if it's something that I think that I can handle I will do it providing that you don't have uh, more than 100 subscribers because I think that it is important to give everyone a chance because even if you have 500 subscribers you once started out with just five and you can't forget that no matter what level you are or status you are in as a youtuber so once again, um, I'm just putting it out there and um, let me know what you wanted to do. So I just uh, wanted to share that inbox with you all in response to an inbox that I received and put your comments below. Tell me what you think. The person that sent me the inbox will be watching and I'm sure that she will be reading some of the comments that uh, you all submit below. So thank you so much and I will see you next time.